When I moved my family down here, October 16, 2001, I was just recovering from a home invasion in Decatur, Georgia. I was frightened and I needed a place to heal. I brought my family here and I became a single parent. My name is Wendy Brown, also known as Mama Moon. And the reason why I say Mama Moon is because this is my son. My name is Yao Babatunde Jones. And I've been revolving around this son for the last 18 years. And I'm happy to say that today, he is a freshman at Coastal Community College. Proud of you. When I moved here, I moved to the south end of Brunswick. If you stand in front of the house, on the left side is, was it a burnt down structure. And on the right side was an abandoned home. It's still there. So I was determined to create an environment within my home to comfort my children. Being a single parent with a young child, my son, was very difficult. You see, I was nursing him full time for three years. I could not wean him. And I had talks with him and I said, son, I need to work. I need to work. So it was difficult. It was very difficult. But one day, one day when life was taking a turn for the worse, it was my car. I thought it was a battery. It wound up being the alternator, but I looked up on Norwich and I saw a sign and it said, Coastal Head Start, accepting applications. And I went. I had previously looked at other daycare situations and I couldn't afford them. Simply, I couldn't. And Coastal qualified me and accepted me into the um, Head Start. Hi, my name is Nina Bryant Hunter. I'm the Early Childhood Education Division Director here at Coastal Georgia Community Action. I've been with the program for four years. Here at Coastal in our Early Childhood Education Division, we offer education services for children from the ages of birth to five years old. And when I say birth, I talk about the fact that we work with pregnant moms. In our program, we take a holistic approach to educating not only the children that are enrolled in our program, but also those families. We work with our families in ECE to help them reach a level of self-sufficiency. In doing that, we have other divisions within our community action agency that assist our parents with goal setting. Our family service workers work to ensure with other divisions within our program that our parents have avenues for education, that our parents have avenues for housing, and that our parents have avenues for employment. I learned a lot from Coastal Head Start. What I learned was this. You can be uh, poverty level qualified or just above the poverty level, but your children can be taught to be successful starting at a tender age of three. That teacher that nurtured my son's class, Ms. Butler, did an awesome job. And you know what? Not only did she nurture him, she nurtured me. Our program is a hidden treasure. It's almost like Miss Wendy Brown said, it was like when I found community action, I found a whole nother avenue to something. It almost, it's like it awakened something in her. And that's truly a success story for community action. I really believe that my exposure to Coastal has start planted the seed for me personally to know that we can change our youth through education. Thank you, Ms. Butler. Well, the one thing that I really enjoy about being a part of the Community Services Division is that we're a very creative arm of community action. That means that we're constantly creating programs that speak to the community. We listen and we assess accordingly um, just about what's happening in each of our counties. 
So through the Community Services Division, we offer case management services. A lot of times people that walk into our doors, they're going through a crisis situation, whether um, they're behind on their rent, um, they're not able to pay their light bill. Most times that's what they come in for, but what we like to do is we provide holistic services. I was wondering as my son got older and since I was a single parent and his father was fading, fading out of his life, I was inquiring about mentorship for my son because it takes a village to raise a child and it's important for African-American boys, white boys, Hispanic boys to have men in their lives. So I started calling fraternities. I started calling places. My son was seven years old at the time, seven to eight, and inquired about mentorship. At the time, they said they didn't have a program in place, but that was their desire, to have one. And as life would have it, coastal Georgia area, community action, offered it. And it's ironic, because the coordinator of the program is Mr samples and thank you Mr. Samples. Your organization and your position at Coastal has really enhanced the organization tenfold. My son was a part of the Cali program for five years and I also would like to thank Mrs. Hamilton because Ms. Hamilton made sure that we had the best coordinators we have a great program in place, and I thank you for not settling for less, for keeping your expectations of your staff high. For those that don't know, Cali is Community Action Youth Leadership Initiative. And it's a group that is specifically, um, that was made specifically to help youth, not just black teens, anybody, you know, through middle school and high school, so, and to see them through so that when they get to senior year, that they're able to have the benefits that they need. And they have the resources and they have a sense of what they want to do once they get out. Um, Cali, inside Cali, we've had lots of events where we would practice leadership, we would practice etiquette, have more of an involvement within the community, whether it comes to picking up trash or whether it comes to serving. Yes, serving, going to colleges and seeing what they have out there. We've personally had entrepreneurs even come over um, and give all of, of the Cali members a, you know, a sense of, okay, well, this is what it's like for uh, the life of an entrepreneur um, for certain fields. So there's, there's multiple things that Cali does, a variety of things that benefits all youth in the sense of academics, in a sense of careers, and a sense of building one's character up. I am in school for nursing. I'm trying to become a nurse. I'm going for um, my BRN. I'm very thankful and appreciative of Cali for providing me this Cali scholarship of $1,500. Um, with also providing me the chance to compete with everybody else in Georgia for the GCAA scholarship, the Georgia Community Action Authority scholarship of 2,500. So this will really help me. This covers for my tuition, my books, and not only that, further um, my education and possibly looking at more of the stuff too. So um, as time went on, uh, I watched Yao and his mom and just how very loving she was. She was always supportive. It went, came to every single meeting that, that we have, since, at least since I've been here. And to my knowledge, she's always been that way, just very involved in her son's life and his upbringing. And because he didn't have a father at home, she's always been that extra support system that he needed or she sought out support for him. And that's what I truly admire about her as, as a person and especially as a mother. With the tools that he gained here at Community Action, with the support of the community and the support of his mother, Yao is truly gonna go places. At 15 years old, my son was able to get his um, employment certification because he was under the age of 16 and was able to work. My son was able to start his first bank account and I'm happy because with the skills he learned from Cali, he was able to save and to this day he has 
saved and still has the majority of the money he earned at 15 years old. Like all Americans, we dream of certain things, and my dream was home ownership. I couldn't see how it was going to happen. I was working this job, that job, substitute teaching, storytelling, um, and just doing whatever I could to stay out of poverty. One day, I was in there and I was waiting to see someone, just getting information, because that's what I do. I saw a newspaper, they're free, it was called a Harbor Sound. So I opened it up and there it was, opportunity for home ownership through the U.S. Department of Agriculture. It was called Building Dreams. And I saw that. And I said, I want to build a dream. I want to build a home. <laughs> and I asked, could I have a copy? The receptionist said, sure, that's what it's for. And I called that number. And as a result, I'm here. I'm here living my dream of home ownership. We've been in this house now for nine years. And I became um, the spokesperson for that program. Um, we built five homes here, and um, I'm so proud of that. Okay, so now I'm a homeowner. I'm empowered. But you know what? People still need help. We try to figure out, well, what made them get behind on their rent? What made them not be able to pay their light bill? Um, so oftentimes it's because they don't have job skills, they don't have employment. Um, we teach them how to find a job, how to uh, revise their resume, teach them all those skills that they need um, in order to, to get a job or to get a job that's higher paying. Or sometimes they may be living in a home that they just can't afford, so helping them do um, housing search, helping them get that first month's deposit, uh, first month's rent, um, and uh, moving them out of an area that they just can't afford. I remember my bills were piling up. I didn't know how I was gonna make ends meet. You see, I couldn't qualify for certain benefits on the state level because I was a little bit over. But Coastal had accommodations for homeowners to get energy assistance if needed. And I needed it. So I went. I saw Ms. Brayston, then I saw Ms. Ertis. She's a volunteer. Thank you, Ms. Ertis for calming me down and telling me, okay, let's see if you qualify. She told me everything that I had to bring and I brought it. And so I really am appreciative because they were able to give me assistance and I was able to keep my lights on at a time when the bills are sky high. I know I keep saying thank you all the time, but it's very important for all the help that I received from Coastal, I've been committed to giving back for all the blessings that I've received. And I'm so grateful to receive this honor as being a voice of success, that I am committed to continue to give back to the community in any way that I can. And I will continue to do what communities should do, which is help others, especially those who want to help themselves. My name is Wendy Brown. I thank you so much. Peace. Everything it is that I know about community action, I learned from Leonard Dawson. He had a dedication, a dedication to this organization, a dedication to the communities that we serve, a dedication to the staff and a dedication to the families. One that far exceeded any that I've ever seen. The award that we are giving out on tonight is named after Linda Dawson. Linda Dawson was, as many would say in the Community Action Network, a man who was ahead of his time. The organization that we are today is an organization that was built on his shoulders and the shoulders of many of the staff that he supervised. He had a passion for families. He had a passion for communities. And our awardee 
represents the true commitment and passion that was exuded from Leonard Dawson. The winner of this year's Leonard Dawson Self-Sufficiency Award is Miss Wendy Brown.